Hi, in today's video, I will show you how to use Code Llama, a new model released by Meta only last week. And it is a fine tuned model based on Llama 2, which is here only to generate code. And I will show you how to run it in this uh, collab notebook. And in the description, you will find the link to this collab notebook. So you can also run it. And just so you know, Llama code, the 7B version we're using here is prompted not by, not by instruction. So it, you're not saying, hey, let's generate code for XYZ. Only in this case, you are prompting with code. So you just start with some Python code or other language and the model will autocomplete for you. So to demonstrate what I mean, let's just jump in. Cool, so let's start with installing Hugging Face, which is not the official stable version of the library yet, because uh, Llama code, code Llama model is so new that we need to use Git uh, to install it. Let me just run the cell with installing. And on top of that, we'll install Accelerate. So let me get back to you once it's installed. Okay, it's done. So let me just show you. So I've installed several packages and at the end I see that successfully installed um, Transformers Hugging Face. So the version right now is 4.33.dev and it means it's not stable yet. It means that the official stable version of Transformers must be lower than 33. But for uh, to run this notebook, this call-up notebook successfully, we need this dev version of Transformers. And the next step is pretty standard. So we will just load the model and the tokenizer. Let me run this and it will again run for some time. We use this code Llama 7BHF and then we do tokenizing and this model code llama you can find it here uh, i will send you the link in the description and then we need to so once we've lo uh, once we know which model we we we're using uh, we need to define the pipeline for quick uh, development and in the pipeline we will use text generation and the model code llama and again, let me get back to you after it's all done. Awesome. Uh, it took me three minutes and 14 seconds to run. And right now I've got the code Llama model downloaded and the pipeline is initialized. And I'm not getting into the specifics of the pipeline, but we will use it for text generation and we, and we will use this model. and this model called Llama and in the background, we will run Torch. So it's time to generate code. And for that, here's a special function um, that uses this pipeline we've defined and as an input, it takes the prompt. Let me just run this function and then it's responding with this uh, for function where we see the sequences. So that's all what we need to define in order to use Llama code. And the way we are prompting the Llama, uh, because it's not instruction based, uh, it's not an instruction based model, it's kind of a code completion model. So that's why we only like start a Python code, for example. So that's how I'm prompting um, the model to write a function for a Fibonacci code. <clears throat> and it will take uh, several seconds to run and we will see what it comes up with. Okay, we're back, 32 seconds to run. And as we can see, this is the Python, the, a Python function that returns a Fibonacci, which is the correct solution for that. and. Just to go through that example, 
we set max length to 128 and I think it has, uh, because it started generating the second function and I'm not sure why, but it always behaves like that. And I think it always tries to use uh, the the length we're defining here. That's why, uh, because like this should be the complete answer and we're done, but it keeps generating more code, which is probably not something that we want. And, but the first function is at least uh, the correct one, which is already good. Now let's try the same with factorial. It should take uh, about 30 seconds again. Okay, so it's defined um, the function for, for factorial, but it also remembers the previous uh, Fibonacci prompt, which again isn't perfect uh, for our use case. And let's just try and as you can see, it keeps generating even more code. Uh, so let's just try with another one uh, for removing the last word. We will see what it comes up with. Uh, so this time it doesn't remember the previous um, the previous instructions, but remove the last word and return text split. Or split. I don't even know if that's correct, but I guess so. And it's generated some, um, it's generated the uh, function docs. And for some reason it's used it as a part of a class. That's why we've got self here. And again, it kept creating more, even more code. So let's see this one as the last one. Again, it's it's generating the docs, uh, but like the prompt is uh, is slightly longer this time. But it's generated the docs, and this function is returning only the ASCII signs using this simple and quick condition. And again, it keeps generating more code. That's it for today. I just showed you how to use code llama 7b in order to generate code. Maybe the examples I showed you aren't perfect. Maybe it's not working as expected or how as we are used to from using GPT-4, but it's a great starting point. And soon you can expect more content about open source large language models like llama 2. So make sure to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.